Namaste, it's Michelle Skoletsky Boyd, intuitive medium and best selling author. And today I want to talk about full moon energies. So I am not an astrologist. This is simply based on my own experience as someone who is empathic and highly sensitive, which I know so many of you are. So sometimes when we have a full moon, based on how there is an electromagnetic pull, which science has proven as far as the oceans and the waves, what the moon energies can do, feel free to look that up on your own. Uh, so what's happening, in my opinion, and simply a gut instinct on my part, is that we are in a place where our overall energy field is getting pulled in a certain way. And sometimes it's irritating and it's frustrating. According to astrologists, and I do have some astrology friends, depending on our sign also and where we are positioned and aligned in the zodiac can also greatly impact this. So what is often happening is during certain full moons, we feel very owly and very angry and very mad, or we blow up or we have crazy dreams and they're not necessarily kind. They could be volatile. Why is this happening? Again, it's all energy. So the question then becomes, how can we get through this? And my best advice to you is to understand that if you're getting angry, all anger is a trauma response. So if you find yourself being mad and angry, you're either angry because you had some kind of trauma in this particular energy pattern, lifetime, call it what you will, all time space is simply an illusion, or there's something happening in what I would call an alternate reality, a parallel universe, you could call it past life. Knowing that um, you're angry because you're going through some kind of trauma. So look around for clues. So for example, uh, this latest full moon here in my household, uh, my daughter was yanking on her dresser drawer because there was a pair of socks shoved in her sock drawer uh, because we just finished with the holidays. She got a lot of extra socks and she's pulling and pulling and she gets mad and she slams the dresser door because dad had told her, you don't even have your socks on yet. So she's still thinking about that upset and this beautiful, um, statuette that she had received a couple weeks ago as a present busted. Now she's completely devastated. I look at her because all I can see from my vantage point, I'm in the bathroom, I can see into the bedroom. All I see is her going and her looking at me and me looking at her and I heard the crash. So dad comes in and says, what just happened? And instead of her saying it was an accident, which she should have said, she says instead, I did it cause I was mad, okay? And I'm going, wow. So now I find myself in a parallel universe, alternate reality. And I find myself upset that she is admitting to a crime that she didn't do. Now, I know this seems hysterical because you guys are, and I don't mean funny. I'm talking about like mad hysterical. And some of you who don't get this world at all, you're watching your loved ones go through this or your children, and you're wondering, why have you become so mad? What's going on? Well, again, this is my opinion, but I think what's happening during full moons is the veil is getting thin, kind of like around Halloween. Everybody hears the veils thin. So our ability to jump timelines or live in parallel realities or alternate universes is so much easier as sensitives. So it's like you have one foot in this world and one foot in the other world. And as my daughter is admitting to something that I know she didn't do, I find myself mad because now I'm upset and I'm going through a trauma that's not even in this lifetime or this reality, let's call it. So the moon brings out some crazy in a lot of people for this particular reason. So what can you do? Just know that we're all human. Understand that it happens. My husband uh, could immediately recognize that something was off because now my daughter and me are <laughs> losing it. 
And thankfully, uh, in our relationship, he's the grounded one. He doesn't have these kinds of experiences, but he has learned over the years not to engage, instead to say, what do you need? How can I help? So it was very helpful for me to say, this is what I'm experiencing. I'm feeling very upset. My daughter's explaining what she's going through. Uh, my daughter's also very sensitive. So I know some of you are going, but I don't have a partner like that. So what do I do now? That partner just engages with me or sees me as nuts or crazy. All I can say is the best thing you can do then is to seclude yourself for a while and let it pass. Take a long, hot bath, take an Epsom salt bath, take some deep breaths, go outside, uh, get some fresh air, uh, say, I don't know what's wrong with me. I just need a moment. I need a minute use your words, but I want you all to know that this is very, very uh, typical for highly sensitive people around the full moon. And uh, we don't always understand it ourselves. I know this seems really strange for those of you who might be watching it and don't get it. But if you have lived in these alternate realities, parallel universes, if you've gone through things where you're like, I have no idea why I'm saying this, but this is what it feels like, then you understand that this stuff can feel at the very minimum, very, very real. So deep breaths, this too shall pass. The good news is, is most times it passes within a couple hours from that time frame. Uh, and if you do have people on your side, like I do, my husband, hang on to them. They are keepers. The fact that they can notice this and say, what do you need? The fact that they allow you to talk it out and to move you into what area, whatever area you need in order to get yourself back to center again. All these things are really important. And if for some reason you do get stuck between realities and sometimes this happens as well where you don't have the insight or the know-how to get yourself out that's where hypnosis can really help okay take care